Shout out to the real sports fans, real boxing fans. We grinding, we grinding. What an amazing weekend of boxing. Amazing weekend in boxing. Shout out to the new subs too, man. Shout out to everybody that be supporting. Even shout out to the people um, that support the channel that may not subscribe to. I appreciate y'all. Um, check this out. Look, Josh Taylor, man. This is just about Josh Taylor. Look, I got a question for y'all. If Josh Taylor becomes undisputed at 140, 140, do you think his undisputed run is, is more impressive than um, Bud Crawford? Not saying he's a better fighter than Bob Crawford. Do you think his 140 run will be better? Does that mean that he would have beaten Ramirez, Regis Progray, and Ivan Baranchek? All guys, you know, power guys, you know, different styles. Um, yeah, because I, I I currently have him. I don't, I don't know. The, I haven't really thought about it too too much. But he's definitely in my top ten. He's definitely in my top ten, leaning towards top seven. Because, you know, you see some people on there, I'm like, okay. And he's doing it with not a lot of fights. And he's doing it, you know what I'm saying? And, and also, you got to take in consideration, he's talented. He has skills, game plan, inside, outside. Got a nice little footwork, switch hitter. So, he's definitely leaning up there. Now, if he becomes, and as soon as he becomes undisputed, I got to put him in my top five. Because Usyk. A lot of people got him in their top five because he became undisputed and he done it so fast. Now he was in a world championship series of boxing. I don't I don't know if Josh Taylor was. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So I definitely have Josh Taylor in my top five because I favor him to beat Ramirez. But you never know. You know styles make fights. You never know. Ramirez come up with a style. Him and Robert Garcia come with a game plan and defeat him. Now I'm gonna have to put Ramirez up there too. You know what I mean? So. Um, so, if he beat Jose Ramirez, he'd definitely be in my top five. But check this out. Because you know if he becomes undisputed, they're going to have to promotion. Promotion-wise, the whole UK going to be behind this guy. So, what fighter do you think they're going to put him up against? Manny Pacquiao. So, his best chance is beating Manny Pacquiao. And it'd be tougher for him to beat Earl Spence and um, Bud Crawford. All the champions right now. So he beat Manny Pacquiao next year after becoming undisputed. He's arguably number one pound for pound in the world. Number one. Now, the only challenge would be, um, you know, of course, if Bud fight Earl Spence, which, you know, hopefully that happens. And also, if, if Lomachenko... Excuse me, if Lomachenko becomes undisputed. You see where we're going with this? I know this is opinion based and it's all different people's standards, but if just think about him being undisputed and winning the belt at 147 in about 17 fights, because I think he got 16. And the people that he's beating. <laughs> imagine that. And imagine if he was to stop Earl, uh, stop Manny Pacquiao or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's Josh Taylor is, is projected. He has a chance to be number one pound for pound in all of boxing, which was set up a great fight if he was to beat Manny Pacquiao he, um, against uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. I would love to see that matchup because I like Josh Taylor's inside game. And I, I want to see what game plan Bud Crawford would come up with. You know what I mean? Because this dude is tough, yo. This two, this dude ain't just going down like that, and his gas tank is nice, and he might be better at 147. I just want to get y'all thoughts on that. You see, the projected profile of Josh Taylor has a chance to be uh, pound for pound number one, or at least number two, arguably, because I think he has a better chance of winning a title at um, 147 than does Usyk at heavyweight. And I and I like Usyk though. I got him at my um. What I got him at? I, got, I think I got him at number, number my number three pound for pound right now. So yeah, give me your thoughts on that, Josh Taylor, future possible pound for pound number one. Um, and I'll be back with some more. We grinding, we grinding.